Hi, I'm Louise. And I'm Rachel. And we're from Marjorie Ryan Son and Daughters, um, funeral directors. And normally when people ask what we do, they never guess funeral directors. They normally guess... Beauticians, hairdressers. Funeral directors last on the list. I came in after I finished school. I pretty much followed in your footsteps and Dad's. Um, it was just a business that I knew about and that I knew a lot about and I was confident in. Um, and mine was again family business, didn't really know what I wanted to do and decided to see if there was a vacancy and at the time there was so I left what I was currently doing and joined the family business and I've never looked back. What would I say is the favourite part of the job? It would definitely be for me is meeting the families and learning about different religions and being able to um, grant the person their last wish, mainly listening to family stories is my main main um, bit I like, enjoy the most. I would probably say the most difficult part for me would be where someone is near my age, as I'm only 24 it is difficult for me to see someone around my age have their life taken away so quickly. What's the strangest request we've had? People ask me that all the time. I haven't really had many strange requests, but I don't know whether it's because we're so used to doing different things all the time that we don't realise it's a strange request. I think there's so many more women funeral directors coming on board and they see people, they see, they see other funeral directors, they see women funeral directors, especially young people like ourselves. And even not necessarily young women, is something people have wanted to get into for a long time and it, they find it difficult, but it, there's definitely an opening where there can, can be more female funeral directors. What I would say to young girls wanting to get involved in um, being a funeral director, um, it's really difficult to get in the funeral trade, especially with independence. Um, just keep trying, just keep putting your CV through independence doors, just keep on, um, keep phoning, keep emailing, and there's always going to be at some point a space.